the next guest, which is Schooner. Hello. Tell us your uh, superhero oh, you, story. I, I want to hear this, Scooney. Take it. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost happy. I haven't even done anything with my stuff because, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, we'd be here another five hours. That's why I'm saving your ass for last. Because you, you no, I'm like, tired, the, I'm right? like, right. <laughs> wow. Take it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. That's why you. That's why you're going last. Go ahead, Scooner. Kevin Smith. All right, well, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Trooper. <laughs> Let him talk. You gonna come with the mechanical spider? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scooney, um, let's hear it. <laughs> all, right, all right. So my, so you guys already got the Trinity, which is excellent, and I'm happy about that. Mm. Um. So I get. So we're a little more free now to uh, jumble a characters not so well known. I wanted to do Red Tornado. Yep. Ooh. The super, the super yeah, Red yeah. Tornado. And um, unlike most of this, because he's not a well known character, but if uh, you guys did the Trinity already, so people are already going to have good faith established already, because these ideas are incredible. So they'll take a shot and go and have a look at Red Tornado. So Red Tornado story because nobody knows a whole lot about it. We're gonna cut. I'm kind of gonna break, bend the rule a little bit. Red Tornado is discovered by a group of you know kids. Okay, you know they're playing around. You know they're running and technically you are bending the rule. Yep. <laughs> That's uh, good though. Yeah. So te- so he these three kids, two boys and a girl. They're all playing. And yes, I'm gonna use a little bit of a cheat here, but. They're all wearing Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. <laughs> and they're, just, they're talking about how they love, they're playing superheroes, wishing which who would be who, all that kind of stuff. And then one of the kids falls through a false, uh, a false blade of grass. Oh, yeah. And he, the kid happens to fall into a laboratory. And inside the laboratory they find uh, robotic parts and there's one robot, Red Tornado, who's just basically uh, lying there. He's, cut, he's somewhat damaged, but it's like basically the only damage is something is lodged in the back of his head. And one of the kids mm. sees it and they remove it. And then that's when Red Tornado's uh, circuits start working again. And he mm. gets up and he starts looking around the room, he's scanning, and then he looks at them, and he then says, you know, in a very friendly voice, greetings, my name is Red Tornado of the Justice Society of America. Who, what is your name? And all the kids are just looking at each other shocked. So his story is basically about Red Tornado is a... He's the bridge between the past DC and the present DC right now. He is of the Justice Society of America, and he mysteriously disappeared, and not too soon afterwards, the Justice Society disbanded. So he is try- he's basically playing catch up in this uh, he's playing catch up in this movie. And the whole he stumbles onto a plot by he, he basically says, he stopped one of his his father, who is uh, uh, Tio Maru, in Tio Maru, <laughs> in a lab, and he liberated his brother and his sister. And after eliminating Tio Maru, um, they betrayed him. They betrayed him, and hence why he was shut down in the lab. And Red Tornado is trying to figure out what where where they are. And it turns out he uncovers a conspiracy where they've been, because I'm jumping really into the sci-fi here. He discovers that they are uh, capturing people and replacing them with AIs. Mm. And, okay. now, and now they're like this close to one of them actually becoming a very powerful member of uh, Congress. That's the whole plot. So he stumbles, Ooh. so he jumps, so he, you know, he has to foil the plot and he discovers that uh, his brother and his sister, uh, he discovers that his brothers and his sister died a long time ago, 
but they gave him, but they have, they had a uh, disciple who was actually going to be um, uh, uh, Dr. Ivo, the creator of Amazo. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Intriguing. Yeah. So that was quick the question. idea. Um, I like- quick question, Schooner. Right. Who's the um, villain of this movie? Uh, the villain of this movie is actually going to be uh, Ivo. Hmm. Okay. So All that's right. going to be the powerhouse villain is going to be Amazo then. Yeah. Uh, the villain he's going to fight at the end is going to be a proto Amazo. Okay. Because this Amazo has the strength uh, has the strength of a uh, Superman. So he's oh. dealt with him before. Say what? So so Superman has dealt with him. It's established that Superman has dealt with Ivo before. Gotcha. That is, yeah. that is correct. He basically said that uh, Ivo says to Red Tornado that he had learned at the feet of. Uh, and this, the movie is going to be told from the point of view of the kids as well, because what happened is I'm kind of showing this two, two sides of the same coin. Um, Red Tornado is going to be like adopted by these kids who are going to help him out any way that they can. Ivo was an orphan and he was found by the two androids. Oh, Iron Giant. Pretty much. But think of a dark Iron Giant with Ivo, because the two androids basically work, basically love to play sadistic games with him. They kept saying that, you know, humans are our playthings because we're going to last forever. They got very arrogant in their ways because Tio Morrow, that, that Ivo discovered, Tio Morrow uh, programmed these robots to become more human. And as such, mm. uh, Red Tornado's brothers got very, and sister got very arrogant in their ways. So they would, they would cruelly torture him, make him go through like these uh, uh, experiments and stuff like that threatened to kill him if he didn't complete a project in a number of times, and he would keep up maintenance on them. And Ivo, that's how Ivo learned about robotics, and when he got a, when he grew a brain, he uh, destroyed both of them. But the impact that they left on him made him uh, very bitter and hateful to those with superpowers. Hmm. Hmm. That's intriguing. <laughs> Very. Yeah, it is, and I like that you use the character of villain that 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 nobody is familiar with. That's what makes it good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is a little different from the usual Trinity that you guys did. But um, at the end of the movie, he st- he stops Ivo, has him go to uh, has him go to jail, and he comes uh, he comes out to the world that I am Red Tornado, you know, and. The kids uh, all pretty, they become basically, as he puts it, his family. Sorry, but go ahead, Scooter. Yeah, the story is um, more of a kind of just like the Iron Giant and um, Bicentennial Man or something. Bicentennial Man. Mm -hmm. It's about Red Tornado um, more rediscovering his, um, discovering his programming, his, you know, to become more human and to learn from humans. Because when he was with the Justice Society, he didn't fit in with them. You know, he would often be in solitary. And then, you know, he'd stay in solitary by himself. And I mean, they couldn't. What? What's the Justice Society, mom and dad? That'll be a story <laughs> for another time. <laughs> um. They said that was so cruel what the Justice Society did to you. And Red Tornado says they didn't do anything. They continued to want to be friends and all that. It was my fault. You know, I thought I was just a machine. But now, you know what? I'm going to say he was conscious throughout that entire time he was in the lab. While he was disabled, he was conscious. Uh, But he just couldn't move his body. And all that time he kept rethinking about, uh, he kept, you know, he kept, he came to regret what his behavior around the Justice Society. And so now he wants to uh, become, he endeavors to become, you know, he's I not going to make a full mistake again. not a gun. Exactly. Um, is, is, is Red Tornado, did you say he was your bad guy? Uh, no, Red Tornado's the good guy. Okay, all right, I Ivo's see. Ivo's the bad guy. Okay, and now uh, Ivo... 
um, will he eventually become uh, a hookup or, or or be with the Suicide Squad, or would they want exactly. his, his 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 intelligence, his technology? Okay. Yeah, his expertise in robotics. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, with robotics, I kind of like that. And you said one of the he battled Superman. Did I hear you right? Yes, he battled Superman because he came to hate uh, superpowered beings who he saw as nothing more like who were no different from the mechanical bullies that tortured him while he was growing up. Ah, uh, okay. Now, that, again, I would see that movie. Because <laughs> see, because right now, Warner Brothers is just recycling characters everybody knows, but here's one we don't really know that right. looks like he would be a villain, but he's really not. Mm -hmm. And you're getting into the robotic sort of thing, so... I I would see that film that that again that that's more interesting than what and what they're doing right now because I don't know who this guy is really I don't know that much about Red Tornado but you make me want to know more about him after telling that story. If you and, uh, if you're interested if you're interested in Red Tornado I would recommend uh, uh, watching Young Justice because yeah. he's, okay. he's or, featured, or Brave and the Bold yeah or Brave and the Bold. Batman, Batman the Brave and the Bold. Batman the Brave and the Bold? Okay. Let me mm -hmm. look that up. Okay, I'm going to look that up. Uh, now, what what is his end? Is that his ending? Does he meet up with hey, anybody? Bacon. Or... or <laughs> bacon well, it, it actually, what I thought could be cool is that it ends with him announced Because, you know, he's not very... Because he's not doing the whole secret identity thing. So when he's walking around with the kids, he's in a... At first, people think he's in a costume. But he's actually... And I want him to actually look like a ro like a robot. Okay. Like he's not going to look like Vision or something like that. No, I right. want him a full. I want him to be a. You can tell this guy's a, well. At first, everyone thinks he's just a guy in a suit, but then it's revealed. Oh, this isn't a costume. Like they even touch him and they pound on his face and try to hit him with a bunch of stuff, and it's all metal. <laughs> and Red Tornado is just standing there, and Red Tornado is just sitting there. Because he's made out of a special metal that gives him endurance, and he also can. You know, in a perfect world, we would have had a Red Tornado uh, movie. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's exactly what I'm saying. I, I, that's and what I'm just saying also, in a perfect world, we had we would have had a better Steel movie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, even more than that. Shaquille. When I said Shaquille O'Neal, it's going to be. I was still cast Shaquille. Yeah, I was sure. Still I'm so I would give him a, a, at least like four more months to, to work on his acting. Okay, but I would, I would cast him if need be. <laughs> okay. But I would I, I still maintain Mac would have been if I had to uh, run st a steel movie today. Mac will be my um. Mac will Mac will be my uh. My steel right now for, for John Henry Irons. Bernie, the Bernie of Mac. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. talking about Asia Shield Mac. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He would okay. he would be my casting choice for for who plays uh, Steel, because I you know I usually pick, my my go to pick usually Michael Jai White, but I'm like eh, he's he's overused. He's an overused casting choice. I've I've seen some recent uh I've I've seen some recent dudes that 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 really uh, intrigued me in their acting, as far as black superheroes concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm derailing the topic. Let let's continue, uh, Schooner. How would you um, then, uh, conclude it, actually? Well, I conclude it with him just basically saying to the world, because he decided, cause he's not going to kill Tio Maro, uh, uh, Ivo, sorry. He's not going to kill Ivo. Ivo is basically going to yell at him at the end of the story, telling everybody that, you know, telling him that he's nothing but a lifeless machine. He should just kill him and all that stuff to end his suffering. And uh, Tornado is, Red Tornado, he looks at Ivo with pity. He does not hate him. He says, I don't hate you, you know, and you are very much afraid. And I'm sorry for what my brother and sister had did, done to you. But not all of us are like, not, I'm not like them. But you are going to go to jail. Mm -hmm. for the things that you did. And he That's drops him off and they're giving an interview to him. And he just announces that I am, I am a red tornado. And Cut the title. You know, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who he is, and he just says, my name is Red, and then he looks at the kids because in the story of Red Tornado, 
they get he chose he chose the name John Smith. So instead of saying I am Red Tornado, he says I am John Smith. I actually picture the end credits going kind of similar to the opening credits of um Hellboy 2 the Golden Army. It's just a bunch of 